it's July in Javier and the rest of the world, uh, which means that we've stopped our alternate Wednesday evening training sessions and replaced them with nightly patrols between six in the evening and nine in the evening. And this will happen between July and August. We drive around the local area and look for signs of fire or any potential risks. Uh, it's been quite a busy few weeks for us, so I'm just going to run you a short video of the things we've been getting up to. Hey! 
fire that started in forest land, but is going to affect a urban land. This is the contact. This is the wildland urban interface. We have the firefighters trying to defend the houses. As you can see later, it's a very intense fire. If we can, it's good to make a distance between our house and the trees of 10 meters. If we have some trees around our house, we have to prune them. We have to make a distance between the trees, between the bushes. We have to make a, a distance of 3 meters minimum beside our house and the branches of the trees. We have to remove all the dry parts of the vegetation. We have to make a good maintenance of our gardening, of our garden and our house. I've got Daryl and Gary here are just going to give you a couple of tips to protect your property in the event of a fire. Daryl. Yes, uh, obviously we're in the hot season at the moment. Uh, one way to protect your property is obviously make sure your gutters are clear of pine needles and generally pine needles in your garden. If you get a mass of them, please try to clear them away because they can combust if a spark hits them. Great, thanks Daryl. Gary? It's important as well to make sure that any gas bottles that you have are either put inside the house or put them into the swimming pool and also to make sure that you leave gates unlocked and automatic gates put to manual so that the emergency services can actually gain access to your property should everything be um, burning around it. Brilliant, Gary. Well, we hope neither of those things happen. We hope we don't have a fire, but thank you, you two. You see. Okay.